Winter is just around the corner and hasn't it been a long time coming this year? And you know it's at times like this when we really do long for the warm summer days and the times when we can jump back in the water. What I want to do is bring some of that warmth home to a family of five. They've got a bit of a challenge for me, a big rumpus room that they all use. So I want to decorate it and make it functional, not just for mum and dad, but for the entire family too. Hello! Hi guys! Hi. Hello! Oh wow, what a big space you have! How are oh, you? Hello. <laughs> I'm well. That's Ruby. Gosh, you're busy, aren't these busy, gorgeous? Busy, busy. I'm definitely going to put you to work here. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your space. What do you need to do here? Well, well this is a big space for our family. We like to um, watch movies and I sew down here. The kids have their friends over, sleepovers and stuff like that. We just need some help. What do you think about all this brickwork? You know, the first thought is to paint, but we don't always have to paint brickwork. Is there anything no, we can do with well, fabric? No, well, we could probably do some wall hangings. Now, there's a whole bunch of computer stuff that needs to stay here. Also, Joe's husband, Sid, has collected heaps of boxing memorabilia that they'd like to display, so we need to work that into our plan. I do love this chair. Well, that belonged to my mother-in-law who passed away recently. Also, it's a very, very comfortable chair. Sofa-wise, it kind of all faces in this way. I think what we really need to do to make it feel cosier is we actually need to kind of divide it in some way. Let's define that as the sitting area and let's define that as a table stroke work area. OK, so we're going to keep some of the existing furniture, put in curtains, add display cabinets and divide up the room so the sofa faces the other way. Jo is going to lend a hand with all the soft furnishings, including Sid's mum's chair. Knock yourself out. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> it's such a treat having someone who can sew. I love it. What's really great about this project is I have a nice big room to work with. So what I want to do in the middle is create a room divider. And I don't want to use one of those kind of flimsy folding screens. I want something solid and substantial. So the plan is to do base cabinets, like flat packs, with a nice big kind of bookshelf on top. Now for the shelves, Again, I want something heavy, so I've gone for a hardwood. Now, you could use this just natural. You could oil it if you wanted to. You could lime wash it. But I want to go for something that's really dark to really tie in well with that red brick. So I'm going for a proof tint and a beautiful deep brown black. Well, the shelf construction is pretty straightforward. Just butt joined and screwed but I'm adding in some old windows to give these dividers some transparency. This is going to be a really fabulous wall of interest. Down the end, against one of the brick walls, I'm adding bookcases. Now, these are serving a double duty purpose. They create storage and help to break up the brick. When you have two freestanding bookcases like this on either side, a clever little design trick is actually to make a pelmet to join the two together. So what we've done here is just started off with a very simple sheet of MDF and built a basic box around here. Now each end will cover the bookcases. To finish it off, we've got this bull nose custom pelmet edging, which you can buy in standard lengths. Just mite at the corners, fit them in, screw them off. Looks very professional, just like a proper custom built-in unit. Between the two bookshelves, we have a space. Now, that's also going to be multi-purpose. Another super affordable way to add a dash of colour and style to otherwise plain brickwork could be to add a panel of fabric like this with a rod pocket at the top just to hang very simply from a piece of black dowel. Now, this is fantastic during the day just to add a splash of colour to the wall. Come viewing time for movies. Look at this. Down it comes. The whole family can sit back and relax, watch the movie, and when it's over, Voila! Fabric. Amazing, don't you think? A great tip for warming up your place this winter is to add curtains. They say on average a house loses about 10% of its heat through the windows during winter time. And this room, well, it has a whole wall of glass, so that's going to make things pretty chilly in here. So what we've done is added some pure linen curtains here. Not only softens the look, but it diffuses the light. And then just to punctuate with a bit of colour and add the cosy, these gorgeous midnight blue velvets. Aren't they beautiful? 
For the base of the room divider, what we've used are two kitchen cabinets, funnily enough, but they make fantastic storage. So in this one, well, Jo's going to have all of her sewing machine and all of the other bits and pieces she needs for her work at home. And on the other side, well, perfect for the printer and all of that palaver that was piled over there in the corner. This is a really fantastic multifunctional piece of furniture. See how we went. These kitchen cabinets from IKEA, I think they're an absolute triumph. This just proves that you can customise them to suit your situation. I'm not always big about matchy-matchy, but you know, sometimes it just helps to kind of carry a colour or an idea throughout the room. Jo is going to love this table so much. Look how much room she has for her sewing. This great extension table just gives her plenty of room to play. Dad Sid, well, he loves his boxing and he's got such a great collection. But sadly, in the old room, it was just kind of spread around and gathering dust. So what I thought we would do, which is such a good idea for any collection, is to gather it all together and store it under glass. I'm sure Joe will be happy with that as well. Now, the best thing about these cabinets is they not only set off this red brick wall, they've also got locks on them. So for little kids, that's something to bear in mind. And these shelves, well, they're adjustable. So as your collection grows, you can move them around until your heart's content. Hands up if you're terrified of a white sofa. Well, let's face it, if you've got kids and pets, it's probably most of us. But you needn't be as worried as you think if you buy the right sofa. And by that, what I mean is one that has removable covers. And also, this one has this removable skirt, so you pretty much can throw every single thing into the wash. But if you really can't get past that, this one also comes in different colours. <laughs> One way to add instant warmth to a room in winter is with lamps. Lower the light source and you'll make everything feel so much cosier. And if you go for task lighting like this over where you sit, if you're a reader or if you like to do sewing like Joe, makes this the best seat in the house. Textures and layers, these are the secret ingredients to make your room feel so great in the winter time. In here, double layering on the windows and all of these gorgeous colours and textures on the sofas just make the room so inviting. Even on the floor, we've got double layering with the rugs. We're all set for winter living now. Just one more thing, ready for movie time. What a remarkable transformation. Rethinking the way a room functions makes such a huge difference. The red walls now work to provide a warm background. And we've given the space unity by repeating the dark colours in the furniture. I really hope Joe loves it. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Thank you so much. I can't believe this. She's crying. I'm, I am literally crying. This is not the same room. This is so good. The cabinets. Thank you so much. Good, isn't it? This is excellent. Oh, I'm better so than I ever thought it would be. Have a seat in your chair. Oh, this is a God. triumph. I just, yeah, this is a fab piece of furniture. Oh, this is so good. All the colours are perfect. I like the white sofas, they work. Room divider. Oh, this is excellent. And the table is gorgeous. Yeah. I think we're ready for I the think, whole family to I think live we now. We should bring them down. Yeah. Okay, let's go find them. <laughs>